what a big week we have had here at Makers Gonna Learn. Um, how many of you guys tuned in yesterday to see our uh, Pro 2 course reveal? I'd say a lot. Here's your hand. I'd say a lot. Yeah, okay, so how many of you guys purchased the course and how many of you spent like so many hours last night, no sleep, crafting from all of those projects? I wanna know what you have already made, what you're inspired to make. Um, which one was your favorite? Yeah, which was your favorite? I wanna know all of this stuff. Um, just so you know, guys, like we are so excited about this course and everything that we've got going on. We have so many sales going on right now, don't we, Rachel? Oh, yes, we do indeedy. Like we want you guys to be as excited about things as we are. So we have our year membership to Makers and Alarm, um, which of course gets you over 1,700 cut files, uh, over 250. Actually, that number may be even closer to 300 now with our yeah, release yesterday. I would say so. Did you guys see the font release yesterday? We didn't even talk about that know, because we, we were so pro two course yeah, heavy. True. Got it. Well, first of all, Becca is clearly the best font out of all of those. <laughs> Becca got her a font. I did get a font. Anyway, so if you didn't check those out, then do that. Um, Anyway, so the year membership gets you, you know, the cut files, over 250 fonts, fonts, excuse me. Um, it gets you a free commercial license to sell your products, projects, whatever um, that you're using our files for. And then it also gets you three free courses um, that are really beneficial, especially if you're starting a business. Um, also, if you're not, though, I mean, it's not just, yeah. They're really good. They're yeah. fantastic courses. Yeah. Good to learn no matter what. Yeah. So with that year membership right now, we are running a special $20 off the year membership using code MAKE, M-A-K-E. Um, we, we have everything on sale, Rachel. It's like a madhouse clearance sale here right now. It's like a get it while it's gone type uh -huh. of deal. I mean, yeah. we got a ton of stuff. So both of our uh, pro courses, pro one and pro two course, um, you can use code pro 2020 and get $20 off either of those or we have a bundle with Pro 1 and Pro 2, um, and you can get $50 off um, that bundle. There's no code necessary for that, so that's amazing. Do we have the link for that, Rachel? Did you drop it? Yeah, I popped all Look at there. Rachel, she's ahead of me. Ooh, sorry, we have a monsoon going on out here, and I just I noticed it. I car windows are shut. <laughs> Squirrel. Anyway. <laughs> In addition to those sales, we're also we also have a sale on our summit, guys. We started working on those projects. We didn't even take a break from pro um, to preparation to summit. It kind of like overlapped, which is really we funny. We keep calling summit projects pro, pro two projects because yeah. we're still in the mindset. But guys, it's just so much at you. We got the whole passport. So it's, it's Tanner really literally messaged us this morning and said, "Guys, we got to get some organic video content." Um, put together and videoed before we start working on yeah. something. He said, I looked at the calendar and it just doesn't make sense. And we're like, but we're really excited about yeah. Summit too. Yeah. And organic <laughs> videos, guys, are the three that you guys see that are polished yeah. and pre-recorded on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. And we're about to run out of them. And Tanner was like, guys, I know we're really excited, but we, <laughs> we can't forget About to concentrate. Yeah. Anyway, so for that Summit, which is in the end of March, we're really looking forward to that as well. But we have a $20 off uh, coupon code for that too. And that coupon code is PASSPORT20. Um, we'll go over those again for sure. Uh, but yeah, everything's on sale. Take advantage of it. Oh my goodness. What What is everyone saying? What have they made? What have they, are they Every, saying anything about Pro 2? Oh yeah, everybody's so excited. Okay. Um, and Miss Angie said, new to the channel, what is the Ooh, Pro 2 course? course? The Pro 2 course. Yeah, Rachel, if you can just take that for a second. I have a, I'm so, something okay. in my eyeball. Do you need to go to the bathroom? No, I'm okay. Okay, I'm okay. well, guys, the Pro 2 course is an amazing <clears throat> course that we just launched yesterday mm -hmm. with, what is it, like 20, 20 amazing projects for yourself, for your home, for other people. And guys, what they're built to do is to let you guys become pros with Cricut. And that, that's not to say that it's just for uh, advanced Cricut makers. You know, you could definitely have a maker who's a little bit younger who just got their Cricut. Mm -hmm. And that is amazing for beginners as well. All we want you guys to do is to be able to do different things while crafting. Some of them, guys, one of the projects has nothing to do with a Cricut. Honestly. Which All, one is that? It's the oh, sublimation. Oh, sublimation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tanner said, I know that this is a Cricut Pro course, 
but I know that these amazing crafty men and women want to know how to sublimate and I want to show it to them. Guys, so we, we are geeking out there. over it. Like it, All of them, I don't think we could pick a favorite. This Pro 2 course has, I think, leveled you guys up and the team up so much. We're so excited about all of them. Yeah, but like Rachel said, she touched on it. Don't don't feel threatened by the fact that it's called a Pro 2 course. I mean, I, I've, I am very confident that if you just bought your maker today, just took your maker out of the box, you just, like you've never had a Cricut before, uh, that you could open open that up, um, pull up our Pro 2 course, and then make every single thing that we are that that we made because we give such in-depth uh, instruction, uh, teaching you guys how to do that. In addition to that, guys, um, I want to mention our resource guide. We, we had the tutorial guide. Was it, it was available yesterday, right, Rachel? Yes. Uh -huh. So our resource guide um, that we were talking about yesterday is available now too. So if you already have the Pro, uh, the Pro 2 course, that is available under courses, right, Rachel? It is indeed. We will show you guys that for sure. Oh yeah, go ahead. Rachel's gonna show you. Um, I'm gonna look for that um, resource guide. I think it's it's under it's, under it's under courses. Okay. If you want to switch over, we can show them. Sure, I'll let you. You want to do it? I'll let you do it. You sure. <clears throat> okay, so it's under courses here. Um, you would select the die cutting pro two course if you have already purchased it. And then scroll down. You see all those amazing videos. Yeah, all of these videos that you guys can see. They're, oh my gosh, they're so good. I'm so excited about it. But down here, you see the Pro 2 ebook, which was available yesterday. It's like 241 pages. She's a honker. <laughs> Y'all, Sin worked like crazy yes. on this. I mean, she Special is. Special shout out to Sin. Sin, Sin just knocked it out of the park with that yeah. project. Amen. Um, and then this resource guide. Um, that is available as of today. We work to get that ready for you. It has all the supplies. So um, the other the other uh, PDF for the project has all every single supply list. It's a comprehensive supply list for the entire course in the back of it. And then this breaks it down uh, per project. So it's available two places for you guys. Uh, but it just gives you resources, tips and tricks um, for doing each individual project. Um, so it's such a pretty little um, booklet that they've put together. I am just loving it. I kind of want to print it out. Anyway, so many fun um, little tips and tricks that are available for you guys for this Pro 2 course. Um, so we'll go out of that. Rachel, did you want to add anything about that? You you nailed it. Okay. Yeah, definitely. And we have a question right now. Ms. Carol wants you to talk a little bit about, about the summits and that passport too, because she's really excited about the, the summits there. I know that you have the uh, tab up here. So she's right here. Oh, and guys, it. it says zero, zero, but it's not really zero, zero. Yeah. And so this is like a summit passport. So you guys know our summits that we have in the spring, summer, and the fall. And this is kind of like buy to get one free type of amazing deal here so you can register and book your ticket and get access to the spring summer and the fall summits all together and it shows you what's included the dates that we have here and all the amazing fun i mean you know and it we have a special little uh link here if you already have your spring ticket but you want to get your summer and fall you can absolutely do that too so that's just like an amazing way to be able to um get the best deal for all of the summits. So that's a, we, we love our summit passport. I'll pop the link back down there for you guys as well. Yeah, and if you guys are just jumping on, we do have that, um, the coupon code for our summits to use um, the coupon code PASSPORT2020 and you get $20 off of that summit. So amazing value. Everything's on sale. Yeah, for real. Okay guys, um, let's jump into our project for a little bit. So, uh, well, if you want to put the camera back on me for just a second, I've not even Absolutely. talked about our project. I'm so excited about Pro 2 and all, all, of the, the all of the sales and everything that we have going on. So this is the little project that we're doing today. Guys, look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. It's way, way cuter because her daughter Fallon that you all got to see yesterday uh, in the picture, she modeled this for us yes. and she is just the best. You guys are gonna get tired of seeing Fallon because she's gonna be, use, she's a very cooperative when I take her picture. So it's really quick and easy to do that. And so I'm gonna be utilizing um, 
that girl for a lot. She's really cute too. You better. Yeah. Anyway, so these uh, these are two cut files. Uh, Maker's gonna learn cut files that we have put together for this specific project, and then we've just add this adorable little trim to it. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. This is a print and cut heat transfer vinyl. If you guys have never used print and cut heat transfer vinyl or just print and cut vinyl at all, oh my gosh, I didn't even know about it um, for quite some time. Um, like I, I was crafting for a little bit before I even knew about it. And when this came on my, my radar, it like totally changed everything. Uh, it's amazing. And I really like, I really like it because it's, I feel like it's thinner. It's a thinner material than regular iron on heat transfer. Don't you think so, Rachel? I think so. And I mean, the possibilities are endless because you don't just have to uh, look at a cut file and think of how many layers of vinyl or iron on you have to layer. Right. Because it's a print and cut. I mean, right now we would be at three different layers. We would have the gray, we'd have the black, we would have this pink. And just like lining all of that up is totally doable. And Rachel has some amazing videos showing you guys how to do that. Uh, but this is just super easy. <laughs> and I like easy. I like um, easy too. Yeah. Anyway, so what I said about it being a thinner material, it, that's a good thing in, in my book. Oh, yeah, um, it is. Yeah. Like you're not going to, you don't like pick at it. it. It doesn't have that feel. Like, you know, a lot of times you'll wear a shirt and you're, you can feel it like, hitting things or you feel like it's going to peel up and I feel like um, or it looks awkward on because it's a little bit thicker you know what I'm talking yeah. about you know? yeah or like it will crease weird uh -huh. and the yep. crease will stay in there yes. that's not that's not true all the time it's you know just sometimes anyway so um this is actually new fun it's for dark fabrics uh, but new fun printable heat transfer vinyl and we get this from Amazon. Rachel, do you know how much we pay for it? I think I, I don't, it depends on how many pages. Yeah, you can get a giant pack or you know, not such. That's true. Pack. I think I think the smallest pack ends up being almost a dollar a sheet, which in hindsight is not super cheap. But the the bigger pack that you get, uh, the the more economical it is for sure. And I have to address some questions here. Okay. Uh, let me see. I guess Judy and Paxton. If any of you are having trouble accessing your course and you bought it, email customer service immediately. They are here to help 100%. They will help you out as soon as possible. Uh, but man, this is not the best place to ask those types of questions. So definitely email hi at makersgonnalearn.com and they will get you going as soon as possible. And then we had a great question. Yeah. Now Sharon said, which would you say is better, Pro 1 and 2 or the Summits? And I have my opinion. I'm wanting Becca's too. But I personally think that Pro 1 and 2 as the bundle, if you got them together, would be a little bit more valuable than one Summit. And I agree. that is because I the agree. Summit is 10 amazing projects. It's live with us and then you're you're watching those pre-recorded videos. It's a ton of fun, a lot of good answers to your questions. But Pro 1 and 2 together, what is that, like 40 projects? And they're pro level mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. It's it's amazing for the value. It's amazing for how much you guys can level up your crafting. So I I mean both of them are great products, but I'm going pro one and two. So it's it, yeah. I don't know like project project quality. I feel like is pretty like level yeah. across the board with uh -huh. that. It's not like one set of projects is is a better quality or a different vibe or you know, whatever. I feel I feel like it's it's just. I don't know. I, that shouldn't be a determining factor. Um, I feel like Summit is more. If you were with us uh, live on uh, Black Friday, I feel like Summit is. And I've never, I've never participated in a Summit, so this is just my interpretation of what it's going to be like. Uh, so Rachel will have to confirm. But sure. in my head, I feel like a Summit is going to be more like um, the fun vibe that that Black Friday event had. Now we're going to do so much more crafting on the summit, uh, than we did with Black Friday, but it's, it's just that upbeat, fun vibe, community type event. Yep. Um, and okay. I wouldn't want to miss it. No, no, <laughs> it's, it's really, really good. It's yeah. Great. So, I mean, both are, both are great, you know, and the transfer, Paper Becca, where is their awesome transfer paper from? It's from 651, and this is actually called a heat transfer mask. Um, so it is specifically for things um, like this uh, printable heat transfer vinyl. Um, guys, if this didn't have like the little hearts on it, all of this is connected to the sloth, so we wouldn't even need heat tra uh, a a uh, transfer sheet. But because we do have these little hearts, we could technically place each individual one i personally feel like that would be a nightmare because i want it to be perfect like if you didn't care um about the actual 
look of it being like if, if this were over here and you were fine with that and just randomly placing those hearts um, then place them but this is so much easier go for this stuff so 651 heat transfer mask um are there any other questions i don't think so what's the htv called this printable htv uh -huh, yep. yeah it's the new fun uh we got it from amazon I'm, i can you get this at craft stores rachel I haven't seen it in craft stores, but again, I haven't been looking. I, I just, haven't seen it in craft stores either. I get it in two either. days from Amazon, and it's always here. We usually mm -hmm. get the big pack, so we keep them for a while, so, you know. They have it for white fabric, and they have it for dark fabric. I honestly, like, I feel like I always use the dark fabric, whether it's a light fabric or not. Um, personal preference, you guys weigh in on that. Can you see a difference on, like, if using dark on light? Now, I know that, I know if you were using a dark shirt and you used... Um, the light fabric transfer, that would make a difference. But I don't think the opposite is true. I could be wrong. We always just use the dark, right? Yeah, we do. We always okay. use the dark, yeah. I don't think there's a difference. I I did that really great video of testing a bunch of them. I did light ones and dark ones, and I didn't find a difference. So I've just I've just been getting it for dark. I don't know why. That's just what we've been buying. It's been working, you know? Okay, well, if there are no other questions um, about ProCourse or our website, or not our website, our membership, uh, yearly membership, any of these questions, then we'll just uh, jump into Design Space and show you guys how we put these two files together. Sounds great to me. Okay. Let's do it. Look at that. Oh, guys, this is two different ones. Yes, two this different. This is two. Two different. Yes, they're so cute. Um, super cute. So, because we are working... Um, Oh, this is something else I wanted to point out. Um, you want me to switch back to you? No, it's okay. okay. I'll just talk. Uh, if you are making this particular um, cut file, print and cut, whatever, for a larger shirt, um, you would have to slice it because of design space restrictions with what they allow you to print and cut. Uh, you know, the... 6.75 by 9.25 if you wanted it any bigger than that um, to put like on an adult shirt or something like that then you would have to slice it so that's one reason we chose this small shirt too um, another is because we have a willing adorable model True. anyway so keep that in mind when you're doing print and cut um, especially with heat transfer vinyls okay so um, we have this adorable image and I'm going to show you guys um, how to put it together um, they are on Maker. Did you pull that up? Maker's I pulled it up. I can go find it again. Yeah, we were right here. So uh, you just got to go to your cut files. Uh -huh. And then they're the brand new ones, which is great. Yes, from our Valentine release. We have an awesome release. tab that just takes you to the brand new cut files. If this will ever load. Looky there. Take me there. It's oh, a shirt. Look back at it. It's oh, shirt. so cute. So they're just right there for you, Becca. Okay, thank you, Rachel. Absolutely. Okay, so... Um, here they are. All of these super fun. When Did we release these two weeks ago or was it three? I think it was two. It wasn't three weeks ago. There's no I way. I think it was two. But I've seen you guys, so many people in our Facebook group, which by the way, if you didn't know, is a wonderful um, benefit of being a member of Makers Gonna Learn. Our Facebook group is amazing. But I've seen so many of you guys post some adorable projects uh, with these cut files. Um I'm glad they're inspiring you. So here's our little sloth. It's adorable. Um, and then up here was our adorable <laughs> um, cut file. So I had no idea how Becca just kind of like put these together. It, it's like it was made to be this cut file. Right. But Becca just, I don't know. It was awesome. But I, again, I... I mean, at the same time, I love that it's actually two separate because I think, uh, obviously, you can use this sloth for so many different other things. It doesn't have to just be for Valentine's Day or whatever. You can attach the sloth to to a heart by itself. I think it would be cute hugging a heart, like, sideways. Um, or you can put it on so many other things. So I love that it wasn't just um, a Valentine-themed sloth. I know you guys love sloths. Okay, so we are going to upload these... Um, files here if I can remember where they are it's probably been a while give me just a second to scroll through here oh there they are so we've got the sloth we have the adorable um, if you didn't know you guys we can upload two files at one time uh, which is convenient so I have selected both of them and I'm gonna press insert image let's hide this cutie for just a second not that one We'll have this one. There we go. Okay, so you can tell 
uh, we've done a couple of things to this um, that we, I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Um, first of all, this sizing is not correct at all. Um, I'll have to change that in just a second, but I want it big so that I can see it because the computer's so far away. Yeah, you gotta make it big. Becca. It's so far away. You gotta see it. <laughs> okay, so one thing that I did was I rotated this sloth. You can see his hand placement um, is a little different than in the image. Let me just put that back up. I didn't delete it. Uh, no. We'll put him over here. Um, so he's rotated just a little bit and to rotate him, you can go up to the top, uh, man, or panel and, um, change the degree with which you want to rotate it. Or you can just use this top right hand arrow, um, and rotate him just a little bit there so that it looks like he's really just hanging, um, from those letters. Like he's meant to be it's there. It's sort of perfect. Yeah. I think they did it. I don't know. It seemed like it was just for me. <laughs> okay, and then another thing that I did, um, you can see that my sloth is a little bit lighter color. I wanted him to be a little bit lighter gray just because I wanted the contrast uh, on the shirt to be more. Uh, if you like this super dark gray sloth, leave him as is. Um, if you want to change him, then over in the right um, hand panel, you'll see where the layers are. I'm going to select the layer uh, that has his body color in it. Uh, then I can go up to the top uh, next to where it says line type and cut, and you can see uh, that gray color. I'm going to select that. And I can make him whatever color I want. If you want a blue sloth, you can have a blue sloth. Wow. Um, right? <laughs> he is Look special. He what a statement. He is special. Um, also, brown sloths are a thing. They are. They thing. are. Becca, I, I love sloths. He looks sloths. sick. Yeah. My he sister looks in -law. sick. <laughs> he does. My sister-in-law loves sloths. I, he looks less sick. Anyway. Oh, he's cute. That's a good color. <laughs> We're getting not sick. But not cute on a pink shirt. No, so that's why no. I stuck with gray. Um, anyway, so you can select these kind of predetermined colors up here or go down to advanced like I did um, and be able to manipulate it a little bit more. This is not even close to the same color. It doesn't matter. We'll get there. That's part of the problem with selecting your own colors. Uh, we're going to leave him. It's okay. I showed you guys how to change it. No, um, you can pick your perfect non sit color for your song. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so another thing that I did, um, you guys can see this has extra hearts um, in, in the file that I have uploaded just now. And so, it, I mean, you could definitely leave that and just make it look like the hearts are falling on and that's super cute, but I, I just wanted to take them out. Um, so to do that, um, I will select over in the right-hand panel, um, the layer that has all the little hearts and then I'm going to go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen where it says contour and press contour. Um, now I can go in and select the hearts that I don't want on there. Um, you can see as I'm doing, as I'm pressing those, uh, they're disappearing from that specific layer. I'm going to get that one too. I think that may be all of them. Uh, there's one on his leg, but it doesn't really matter. We'll just move it over a little bit. Well, maybe not. We'll get rid of him too. <laughs> just get rid of the little I hole. know. Okay. Um, and so the last thing that we did with uh, manipulating this specific file in Design Space was change the color of the hearts. Um, we did have a pink shirt with pink trimming. And so the red hearts just looked a little bit different on the shirt. Um, if you are one of those people, in general, I'm inclined to think that on Valentine's Day, any... Um, any assortment, any uh, compilation of pinks and reds is suitable for Valentine's Day. So if you're in that frame of mind like me, then keep it red. <laughs> um, if you want to change them, um, then just make sure that you have selected that heart layer and then go up um, in that color, um, color drop down menu. My goodness, wow, that word was not coming to me. And then select whatever color you want. Um, so now that we have all of that changed um, and it's ready for uh, printing, we have to do one last thing. As, um, as is, if I hit make it right now, it's going to put it into so many different layers. 
not fun. No. It's because it's set to cut right now. It's not set to print and then right. cut. Mm-hmm. Um, so when I select, oh, just kidding. Let's press that back arrow really quick to undo that. I'm going to select every single one of these layers. So all four of these layers, um, you can see over in the right hand panel, they are selected. Now that they're selected, I can press flatten. And when I press flatten, um, first of all, it makes it all one layer. And second of all, it makes it a print and cut automatically. Isn't Ain't that, that amazing? I love it. Cricut is so smart. Fantastic. You can see up here in the right hand panel, I have this little um, caution telling me that my image is too big. Um, Design space is nice enough to tell you, remind you what the limitations are. I, I would love to know why they limit you that way. Same. I mean, I get, I get why knife blade projects can only be 11 inches wide because of your stars you have to move. Like, I, I can get the concept beside, behind that. Yeah. But this one, I just straight up don't understand. I don't either. I, I, I guess it might be because normal people's printers can't go larger than 8.5 by 11, but still, this but is But you like can make smaller. this 8.5 by 11. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so the reason that it's throwing that is because my image is too big. So I just need to um, make it smaller. There we go. Um, and then I would hit make it. I'm going to get rid of this one and then we'll pull this one back in because the size I know is absolutely perfect for this specific shirt. Um, so I'm going to hit make it. It's going to send it. Um, onto one mat, which is nice. And you see that it has this paper here with the registration marks on it. Um, that's exactly how it's going to print out of your printer. Um, so what I'm going to do is press continue um, and then send to my printer and um, it's going to print out. And Becca, Mary Ann has a great question. Yep. She says, what is the difference between flatten and weld? That is a really good question. So, um, weld, you use weld a lot when you are um, uh, using text specifically, um, but flatten... It's like for print and cut purposes. I don't think I've ever used flatten on a non-print and cut, um, I don't know, project. But yeah, no, I don't think I have either. For a ton of things. And weld is good for like SVGs that you want to just kind of cut and move on with life. I don't think personally you can flatten anything and then cut it. I think flatten is only for the purpose of printing than cutting. I, I could be wrong. No, I'm pretty sure could. you're right. Yeah, weld is when you when you join like multiple layers yeah. together to create one yeah. shape. Just and like then... when you kern a cursive text and then you weld it together so that that, uh, that kerned word will cut as one word. And then if I were to flatten that, it would just assume that I wanted to just print it and then cut it. Yeah, flatten is specifically for making things into a print and cut. Like, I think that's its sole purpose, honestly. Um, okay, so we have it printed. Um, I did pre-print it just to make sure that we don't have, like, any weird glitches because we have been known to have printer problems. Um, so if you already have yours printed, then you can go up here uh, to the right where it says, I have already printed, and click that. Um, and then let's see here, we're going to go to browse all material and type in printable and then uh, printable iron on comes up. You can see the selection for dark and light are there. I'm going to select dark because that's what I'm using. Press done. I'm going to use default pressure. Um, and then if you want to switch it back uh, to, absolutely to this camera, mm -hmm. that would be great. We're going to just load. Look at the little slot. Look how cute. Super cute. And you guys, look at this. Um, well, hold on, let, me, let me get that bubble out. And also, don't start freaking out when yeah. you look at adorable. That's what I was going to show you. Oh, look yeah, at this. Perfect. It's super, like, it looks blurry. It looks messed up. It looks ugly. That's because we put bleed on um, for our, when we printed, so that when it cuts out, um, it will look precise. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to tell you guys, I had to actually calibrate our machine bef right before this live. That's why we were a couple minutes True. late. Yep. 
So if you guys are using print and cut specifically, make sure your machine is calibrated. Uh, I can show you guys where to go to do that in just a second. Uh, actually, while this cuts out, I don't mind to do that. Um, but yeah, it if, if it's not calibrated properly, it will like cut off part of the image. So like this down here might have um, its black outline, but up here it might cut it off um, or vice versa. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the maker and let's yeah we're gonna switch on back over um so i can show you guys actually i can't show you while i'm cutting oh i don't true. know what i'm thinking but better, <laughs> we both thought we could we'll switch it to you uh, yeah i do not know what i was thinking i'll show you guys in just a second if you haven't calibrated before there are actually several different options for calibration um you can calibrate specific and it'll show you in just a second you yeah. can calibrate specifically for your knife blade uh specifically for your rotary blade or specifically for print and cut now um that's just on a maker. I'm not sure about the calibration options for um, Explorer, like the Air 2. Do you know, I don't Rachel? know. I don't know. It's Obviously, so the, awesome the knife blade is not really an issue. Yeah. And, um, okay, great question here. Miss Sharon Ooh, said... That is a good question. It, it, is it an iron-on but not mirrored? So it is an iron-on mm -hmm. and it is not mirrored, but listen... It's all about the brand. Mm -hmm. Every brand is different. I have two brands that I love, and one of them you have to mirror, and the other you do not. So StarCraft has a really amazing, super impressive uh, heat transfer, uh, printable heat transfer, and their um, theirs you have to mirror, but this one you don't. So listen, you can't just buy one off the shelf and not mirror it. Read the directions on that product. Just mm -hmm. be sure you're reading that for sure. Um, yeah. There was a question, is there a reason why Becca's using a light mat to cut versus a standard mat? Um, this product specifically is a little bit thinner. Um, so I didn't want to use a standard grip mat and have it like peel, like when I peel it off, like make it roll weird or anything. Yeah. Um, and this is actually a new light grip mat too. Yeah. So it, it, it holds really good. New light grip mat, older mm -hmm. standard grip mat. They're yeah. both the same, you know? So yeah. we used to be very religious about just using light grip mats. We've gotten into the habit of using more standard grip, but a good mm -hmm. new light grip mat is probably my favorite. We just can't keep them new long enough. <laughs> the problem. And well, and fabric grip mat, we have problems with that too. We do, yeah. we do, yeah. But guys, ask all your crafty questions. Ask anything you have about the summits, the pro courses, yeah. the uh, membership, whatever you guys want to know about. And I know I have missed some other questions not related to the sales or this particular craft just because we're so busy. So feel free. There are lots of comments. To, I love them. Yeah. Feel yeah. free to ask those again and we'll try and get to them again. I, I love to answer all of them. Yeah. And so if you're just tuning in, yeah. um, we, we touched it at the beginning of the segment. We have so much of our awesome courses, uh, membership, everything is on sale. Literally everything is on sale. It's so crazy. Um, our year membership, which is the best value of our memberships. We also offer a uh, monthly, six month, uh, but our year membership is definitely the best value. You get every single thing that we have to offer with our year membership and it is $20 off. I don't know, how long is that sale? I don't know. I have no idea. I so take it. advantage of it before it's yeah. gone. We didn't even have a, a limit on that. Hopefully today is not the last day. I Hopefully don't know. Hopefully not. Anyway, the coupon code for that is make, M-A-K-E. Um, and then we also have um, sales on our pro Pro 2 or Pro 1 and Pro 2 courses. Uh, we launched Pro 2 yesterday. It is amazing. It still has like warm, fuzzy, wonderful, fond feelings in my heart about it. Um, great projects. Um, each of those, if you want to buy them separately, which I wouldn't because you need all of them. <laughs> but if you wanted to buy them separately, the coupon code for that is PRO2020. Uh, if you want to buy them together, you get $50 off that bundle and you don't need a coupon code. Um, and then we do have our summit, which is coming up in March and it is $20 off as well using coupon code PASSPORT2020. Um, so guys, take advantage of those. They are fantastic value and you get to craft more with us. So it's like a win-win. Who doesn't want to craft more with yeah. us? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's switch back over to um, the Design Space camera. And I'm going to show them really quickly how to calibrate. Let's dismiss and this. And guys, one. again, it is, this is new, fun, printable iron on for dark fabrics. This is for you, Miss Tarita. Okay, so let's cancel out of this. Um, we are, guys, we are using the desktop version of Design Space. 
right now. This is not web browser version of Design I'm sure Space. it's shocking. Can you guys tell a difference? No. <laughs> not at all. It is so like, other than the fact that the top of it says Cricut Design Space version 5.3.25 because it's a beta version, like there's no difference at all. Nope. It's amazing. I just did a video today actually about, um, about changing over, answering any questions that you might have about it. Yeah, we're um, gonna get that one up for you guys ASAP. That yeah. one is gonna be for you guys for all your questions and things like that. Yeah. Anyway, um, so if like calibrating your machine with Cricut Design Space for desktop is the same as um, the web browser as of right now. So you go into the top left right here where it has these uh, little lines, your menu, and you press that. And then you go down here where it says calibration and you push that. Um, and then you would select whichever option you need to calibrate with. So your rotary blade, your knife blade, or for print and cuts. Um, if I do print and cut, then it prints. You do have to have a printer to calibrate for print and cut. I don't know about um, rotary knife blade. Do you know, Rachel? I don't know. Does it print a sheet as well? I don't think so. I think it just cuts something. I don't know what it... Okay. I, don't I actually so. need to look at that. I'm sorry, guys. I don't actually know the answer to that. Um, anyway, so it prints out a sheet. Um, I don't really have one with me. That has all different kinds of lines and like a square on it. And it cuts... Uh, the lines and the square and it asks you is this line um, on the square or is it on this specific line uh, like the cut line and so you just answer questions back and forth uh, based off of those cuts that it makes on the printed paper um, and it calibrates your machine it's pretty amazing you guys have to do it especially if you are into printing cuts okay so we can go back over to our overhead camera, Rachel. We sure are thing. finished cutting. That was quick. It was quick. Ooh. Oh, wow. Knoxville, Illinois. Wes, I was so excited thinking you were so close to us in Knoxville, Tennessee. No, Wes is in snowy Knoxville, Illinois today. Okay. So this is super easy to weed, guys. I am going to leave it on my mat, um, but... It comes up really, it's a thin material. Um, so I just gently, you don't have to be super gentle, but gently pull up all of the extra that I don't need. Of course, I'm sticking to my mat over there. And Miss Marianne, you do not have to calibrate every time you do a print and cut. I think what we're trying to say is that it's good to do it right now if you haven't in a while. Yeah, and or if you've never notice, done print and cut. Yeah, and you'll definitely notice if it needs a calibration. It will not start cutting right. Um, it'll start cutting off pieces you don't want it to cut off and things like that. So that's when you kind of know, okay, I think I might need to calibrate my machine here. So, guys, fun story. I'm having a little problem here. My machine did not cut everything like I wanted it to. Um, so troubleshooting, I'm going to teach you guys how to troubleshoot that. You can see this is attached and it shouldn't be. That should be coming right up. So I'm going to take my precision knife here and just go in and gently uh, make those cuts that my machine did not make very nicely. <laughs> we might forgive the machine. We will see. Um, that's interesting. It kind of ate some spots right here. Uh -oh. Do you see that, Rachel? Guys, here's the problem with Maker's Gonna Learn. Here's the problem with what we do. <laughs> it's live. Is that, no, it's not that it's live. <laughs> it's, I'm talk, like talking about the machine and everything. We craft so much that after we put a brand new blade in and we have to do less pressure and babysit it and make sure it's okay. Yeah. By the time we get it where we want to, it needs another flipping blade. And yeah. then we do it all over again just because of how often that we craft. This definitely need. I think it needs a new blade, Rachel, because it's sort of. Yeah, I think it does too. But Becca, it's like we just quit last complaining week. about the new, <laughs> about the new blade. We actually was it last week we talked about putting the date on our blades just because we're curious. I think we should. I think we should start writing it down, like which maker has a fresh blade and which doesn't, and which you know that that's what. Yeah, we there's a do. couple of spots that it just didn't cut, so that's okay. We're gonna go in and we're gonna make it. Make it happen. Give me just a minute here. Take your time, Becca. We're here for you. 
watch you craft it up. So did anybody ever answer about what um, projects they've been no. making? Nobody. Nobody's no. making projects. What is wrong with I, you? Unless people? I can't read, <laughs> which I'm in a bad business if I can't read. But listen. Y'all let me know if you're making projects from the Pro 2 course or if you think you know which one you want to make first, which one you think is going to be your favorite. Let me know because that Pro 2 course, guys, that was challenging to us. We were so excited to make them. We are so proud of them. We hope that you all enjoy them. Maybe you they're waiting it? until the weekend. They're going to they're gonna craft all weekend. Maybe. I don't know. And where did we get this shirt? I think it's from Hobby Lobby. Becca. It is Hobby Lobby. Okay. Guys, yeah. this is... Creations of Grace. So it was $5.99. Of course, we got it on sale. Like, this shirt is cheap, guys. Felon's wearing it to um, Valentine's Day at her preschool. And if she messes it up, I don't care because it was like three and a half bucks. <laughs> Very economical. Super cheap. Super cheap. Tracy, I bought the Pro 2 about 20 minutes ago. Amazing, Tracy. You are not going to regret it. You're going to absolutely love it. And Diane said, Rachel, I'm partway through the Olive Garland. Ooh. Diane, that's a, I think that's a good starter one. Yes. Because it, it's enough to get your, you know, to dip your toes in and see what you can do. But it's not one of those super technical hard ones. It's a that was one of my favorite too, though, Rachel. Like when I was beautiful. photographing them, like I took them all to my house to photograph while Rachel, I think Rachel and Tanner were videoing one day. And I like it almost didn't come back to the studio with me because I loved it so much. You're welcome to take it home, back. I loved it. One of the wooden triangles did not make it back. It just, it might have just kind of wanted to stay at Becca's house. Then Tanner and Courtney came to my house Sunday, and I was like, yeah, that didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> but that just speaks volumes about the products that we that we made for you guys. Like we love them so much that we're actually using them. So um, obviously we want um, you guys to love them like we do. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I want to just show you um, so that you're informed like I am. You can see it has sort of come up in places where our knife or our not our knife our blade. I think it just is sort of chewing it, like pulling along instead of cutting through. So that is one reason why it's so important um, to keep a good fresh blade on your machine. We will be changing ours as soon as this is over. Um, and Sin, we were just singing your praises. We were. The amazing resource God. Hello, Sin. She says, everyone should get the Pro 2 course. I'm telling you, the projects and tips are amazing. Yes. You worked so hard on it. It's amazing. And yeah, Sin, have you even slept in like a week? Yeah, I want to know that. And Sin, I see you working on like Sundays. I'm like, Sin is just going hard for this team. She is devoted. She is devoted. To you MGL, mm -hmm. MGLers. Mm -hmm. MGLers. <laughs> and Bandit said, one hour ago, just opened our first Cricut Maker. My wife is super <gasps> pumped. Oh Love my the gosh. content. Very helpful. So do you have our Makers Gonna Learn membership yet? Well, I, I would Bandit, like to know that. You got to have it. You gotta have it. That's the second step. First step is opening your maker. Second step is getting the membership. Third step is crafting till you pass out. No, no, no. That's no? Not my third step. No, what? Uh -uh. what? This is my third step. Oh, but okay. I see what Beck is doing. Yeah, Cricut printable guide. I swear by it. It's a good one. Guys, amazing. I actually, I actually sort of broke ours a minute ago. Listen, so I'm I not to fix, fix this. that thing every other week. It's I, fine. Guys, <laughs> literally just open this up right before so that I could remember what temperature to do this at. We use, we still use this. Yeah. Like, we use this all the time. So this is a, uh, the easy press temperature chart guide. Um, and literally was just using it. This, you guys are going to love this thing. Anyway, if you don't have it and you are a member and you don't know where it is, it is under, um, you have to be logged into the website and then you go to dashboard and it's under resources under your dashboard. Definitely, definitely go find that. And the other resource guides. There's so many amazing resource guides under there. Oh yeah. That are free to members, all members. All members get them. Okay. Okay, and then number four is Crafty Pass Out? Yeah, 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 I okay. like that, okay. I like it. Just making sure. Five is get another part-time job or a full-time job because you have to support <laughs> your crafting habit. Or with your yearly membership, you can take advantage of the how to build a business through dot cutting. Yes, and make and that just, your part-time job or full-time job. And then just make job. money doing what you love. You That's what that. I did. I okay. quit my job and came here. It's true, she did. And now I craft 24-7. It's true, she does. Dream job. 
But Rachel makes it a dream job. Oh, you hush, Becca. What do you want from me? <laughs> what is it? Stop. I do love everybody that I work with. Seriously. It's amazing. I've never worked at a place where, like, I actually wanted to hang out with the people um, outside of work. Like, you know, go do things and text them and everything. Yeah. So it's really fun to have, you know, that friendship and the love and the support and the community that we have. Becca, just, this isn't just like here. a lot of other jobs. This is a, That's you, true. You just entered a family. Now you can't get out of it. I'm sorry, but you're stuck forever. I love it. Forever love and ever. It. Okay, so we do have this, um, if, if you haven't heard before, if you're just tuning in, this is from 651. It is a heat transfer mask. It does have this um, paper on the back that we have to peel off if I can get it off. Let me get a weeding tool here. So we're going to pull that off. Um, it comes in a roll. Do you know what... You know how big those rolls are, Rachel? Again, I think it's just like everything else, which is amazing at 651 vinyl. You can order as much or as little okay. as you want. Okay. Yep. Um, what is there anything else that you would use this particular product for? Uh, you can use it for that, for like the printable, or you can use it for the pattern. Okay. So if you guys have maker material boxes or you have patterned HTV, it doesn't have a backer sheet, and this is what you use for it. Yep. Okay. Um, so I'm just, I'm just putting that on there. This is my transfer sheet. So it's going to act like a transfer sheet. Uh, I'm going to get a scraper and burnish this, um, just so that it sticks really nicely to it. And yes, Sin is coming to meet us next week. Next week we get She's to meet Sin. You haven't met her before, Rachel. No, I have right? not. Yeah. I've never met Sin. Super excited, guys. It's going to be fun. It is going to be you fun. You know, we want to get her to craft for you all. We do. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I don't think we've ever Not really to put Sin on the spot or anything, but. Well, Sin has a cricket. Right. She's got one. Sin is not just our customer no, service. Well, she's, she's, she's crafty. Great. Yeah. She's anyway, crafty. I just burnished that for forever. But guys, you can't over burnish. So <laughs> burnish, burnish, burnish. Now what I'm going to do is flip this. Let gravity help me out here. And I'm going to pull it from my mat. So you can see how it's sticking pretty well and even then it rolled on me, which is not the end of the world, but had I used a standard grip mat, uh, it would have been even more difficult to pull off. So um, I have my 9x9 Easy Press here and I'm going to go ahead and preheat that um, to 340. And the only reason I know that is because I looked at <laughs> my, my uh, Cricut guide over here just a minute ago. And Miss Paris, uh, HTV already has its own transfer sheet, so do not use this on regular HTV. It already right, yeah, one. you don't need it. Nope. That's one reason I think it's more expensive because it already has the transfer it sheet. It totally is yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. It, and I would, I love that, you know, I'm totally fine with that. Okay, so while that heats up, I am going to uh, get my Easy Press mat out over here. Um, let me clean up a little bit. I got lots going on right here. Move this over. Sorry, guys. It's a little crazy. Um, and I'm going to spread my shirt out. And you can see it has some wrinkles in it, so I want to get rid of those wrinkles. Um, and while my Easy Press is heating up, I can go ahead and kind of use it as an iron to get those wrinkles out. You don't want it wrinkled because if it's wrinkled and you put your heat transfer vinyl on top of a wrinkle, um, it will not lay right. It's going to want to peel because of that. Um, so make sure that you have it nice and wrinkle free and lint free. So uh, we actually have a lint roller in our uh, tub of uh, transfer, I mean, not yep. transfer, yep. Um, infusible, infusible ink. ink stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the name escaped me as well. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And Paris, no, you cannot use this with regular vinyl either. This is only for uh, products that are heated. This is only for printable HTV or printable or like the pattern HTV. This is not for vinyl. This is not for regular HTV. That um, that has its own regular HTV and then vinyl needs it's completely a different type of transfer. Right, right. Okay, so I'm going to peel this backing off um, of my transfer. I am not going to lie, I was a little nervous about that just because of the way that it cut. Um, but this heat transfer mask did its job and made it stay in place, so that's really nice. Um, so now I'm just going to place this on my shirt. 
and I can't really see it, so let me hold it up just a little bit. I don't love the placement of that. Am I the only one who like lifts things and places it down a million times? No, there are other people with OCD, Beck. It's a very common illness. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my goodness. At least goodness. we know that transfer is good and sticky. Yeah, for real, guys. That's true. It's not going to move around on you, which is nice. Especially if you're using uh, like the mini, pre the uh, baby. Yeah, the baby. Guys, I'm curious. Does everybody know the names of our easy presses? Oh, I would love I to I want to know. Who knows the name of all of our easy press? So the little one, um, the 9x9, nine nine, the 6x what? We have 6x7, 9x9, 10x12, and of course the mini, and then the first generation blue one we also have named. Do all of our easy presses have names? I want to see who can who can name our easy presses. Who I can't, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that. I can't name them who all. Who knows them? You I'll make my own names name, up for them. <laughs> Oh, Becca could, yeah, she could do that. So, guys, I, I went ahead and cut off that extra so that when I'm trying to place it, I'm not fighting that extra, too. Um, just a little tip and trick. There's You're fighting so many other things. You don't need don't need the extra hassle. Beth, okay. you have other people saying they're OCD, too. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. I'm not alone. That makes no, me feel better. You're not alone. She's still crooked. Here she goes. Here she goes. She's still people. crooked. You're not helping me, Rachel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to be one of those like down and done type people. No, but see, that's how that's how you take a project from beginner to pro, Becca. Now it's too far to the left, but we're gonna go with it, guys. I um, we're gonna go with it. Becca, you can make it perfect. It's no, okay. No one is gonna be mad at you. It's okay. You only live once, Becca. Okay. Y'all low. Do you want me to move it, Rachel? Would sure. that make you feel better? Yes, I think it'll make you. Feel I think better. you're feeding my addiction. <laughs> Oh no, am I an enabler? Let me move it back just a little bit. Guys, this table that we work on is so high, it's hard to see. That's why a lot of times, like if Rachel's doing a project or if I'm doing a project, then we'll be like, hey, look at that overhead camera and tell me you guys have like a better view of it than we do. Yeah. You anyway. Do. You guys are nailing the names. Are they really? Yes, Becca. This is his big Bertha. <laughs> It's uh, it's Big Papa packs, and you were so close. Big Papa is the ten by twelve. Peanut is the teeny tiny one. Or nine by nine that Beck is using the name is Minnie. Uh huh. And then the six by seven's name is Stella. And then the blue first generation's name is Tony. 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 Where did we get that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I love it. I love that Sue is also asking me where my measuring tape is. She's got it. She got you. it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Guys, I'm so sorry. That was a massive <laughs> tangent. <laughs> Becca says, I love watching Becca's, or Sin says, I love watching Becca's project. She almost always breaks out the measuring tape. <laughs> it's true. Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what they say. Measure, class measure, cut measure. Yeah, yeah, measure, measure, mm -hmm. measure, measure, class cut work. Okay, so um, if we did a little test, and when... I don't know if it was just us or if it's this product in general or what, but when we use this transfer, uh, the mask, the heat transfer mask, and put our Easy Press right on top of it, it did not do so well. No, we um, gotta have a protective layer. Yeah, there. it melted to the bottom of the Easy Press actually, so you do need a protective layer. Um, this is Cricut's iron on protective mat. I don't know what the actual terms are. I think that's actually pretty close, but it's just like a Teflon sheet. So you guys can get that from Amazon for like two something. I think honestly, it's pretty cheap. It's cheap for the Teflon. Yeah. Sheet so sure. make sure you have that. Um, cause you don't want to stick. It's annoying. Okay. We are ready to ease press. I think this is actually the side. Yeah, we're good. We're not going to have to move around. Um, so I've put it on here. I'm doing it for 40 seconds. Um, Rachel, do you do 40 seconds or you do you do 30? Uh, on printable, I don't know. I guess 40, 40. So this is, I think this is like a, a common question. Originally, it was what you would preheat for five you would do it for 30 on the front 15 on the back Something or whatever like, listen, and now they're saying don't even do it on the there's back there's a right? big old process no well so it's like if you're a perfectionist and you are you want to uh, like dot all your cross all your t's and dot all your i's uh -huh. you can flip it over and do the back but it's not necessary okay like it's not anyway so i just kind of split it down the middle and yeah. do 40 and don't do the back 
Becca, that sounds great to me. This is warm, guys, because it just had 340 degrees on it. So please be careful um, when you're pulling that up. And Judy, that is for uh, infusible ink, not printable. But that, but good, good practice to be in the mind. Ooh, for real, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm gonna let this cool just a little bit uh, before I peel it up. We'll faint it a little bit. Guys, get your Pro 1 and 2 bundle if you don't have... Get them, yes. If you it's don't $50 have either off. Of them, if you don't have either of them, get both. If you have the one, get the two. If you have the two, get the one. We got we have links for all of them because you need them. We just launched it yesterday, and they're incredible. Yeah, does anybody want to see the projects that we did in these in, the, in Pro 2? Has anyone not seen them that wants to see them? Let us know. I'm curious. I think we have a couple. Okay, so it is cool-ish. Um, I'm going to gently peel this up just so that... I say this every single time. If a little bit of it has not adhered, I can put this sheet back down um, and then just hit it for, how long do you normally hit it? Just to, like 10 I seconds? I would do this like, ten, yeah, 10 to yeah. 15 seconds yeah. if it hasn't. Um, Look at that, Becca. Yeah, it's actually doing really good. Here we go. Oh my goodness. There we go, guys. How fun is this? So fun. And now we're gonna finish it off with some trim. Guys, we have not had our Lynn Lily glue gun. And and now I have it, and I'm so excited. We literally got this, what, like 10 minutes before this live? Yes. I ripped ben it open like, and I was Jimmy. like, yeah. <laughs> we had to get a new one. Um, we have three now. We have three now, mm -hmm. yeah. We, we don't share well, so we all had to get one. True. We were anyway. all fighting over this one. We have other glue guns, but none compare. I love, it's true. None of them compare. And when we first got this, we were like, well, it can't be that much different. It's just a glue gun. But we love her. Yeah, we do. We love her. Um, so it's cordless. Or you can take the cord out of the base and put it right into it. Um, is it two minutes of glue time right Two now? minutes of glue time before. But see, that doesn't sound like a lot, but you're constantly putting it back on its face. Oh, you know? absolutely. Okay. So we have this adorable trim that we got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it is our hot pink Merchant 41. This is the brand of stuff that um, Courtney got me for the dream catcher that I, I did. I don't doubt it. This stuff, I don't know. They make really cute trim, guys. Hobby they Lobby, do. adorable. Um, it's three yards. Two ninety nine is the sticker price on it, so I'm sure she got that on sale. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So what we're going to do is start um, in a seam at the bottom of the sleeve. Now, guys, I, I do want to point out for the sake of this um, live, I would normally sew this on. I'm I'm a sewist. I would normally sew it on just because it will it will stay longer. Um, if for the sake of this we're gonna hot glue it on because that's quick and easy and it gives you guys um an idea on how to do it here's another option this is called flexible stretchable fabric glue um and it it allows you especially with it being a shirt and on the sleeves it allows some give in the shirt um so that wearing it is more comfortable it does take a little bit of time to dry so that's why i'm not using it today on the live uh, but there you go. There's a little bit of um, a tip trick if you don't want to use hot glue, which on a shirt like this that your kid might wear one or two times, I think hot glue is totally fine. So um, we are just going to kind of follow the same here uh, because when we, if we do that, it'll make it straight and easy. Just add a little bit of glue. Oh. Rachel, let's what? talk about these. Yeah. These fantastic long glue sticks. That was one of our complaints was that we were always going through the little um, glue sticks and we got hooked up with these long glue sticks. So if you guys have not used them before, totally amazing. Get them. And guys, the washing instructions, a lot of you have asked me about them. They are different for a lot of brands. So do not come at me if they don't work, if you don't have this new fun brand. But for new fun, of course, with the shirts, make sure that you pre-wash them before if they have any cotton in there. Wash it on cold water with the shirt inside out. Air dry on no heat or just, uh, wow, air dry on no heat. Air dry <laughs> or tumble dry on no heat in your, dry, in your dryer. There you go. And wait 24 hours before washing. 
24 hours. Good pointers, right? But just read the instructions because they say all that too. So <laughs> either or. But yeah, definitely, like, if you're using a 100% cotton shirt, definitely wash it beforehand so um, there's no shrinkage. Because if your shirt shrinks, your vinyl's not going to, and you're going to end up with a puckered mess of a shirt. We don't, we don't want, want a that. mess. We don't want that. No, we don't. I love that we both said that at the same time. Yeah, we don't want... Because we know, Becca. We, we don't do. want that. This trim is so cute. I love it. So fun. It's like, it's like it adds that, that factor, mm -hmm. you know? Somewhere I had scissors. What did I do with them? Oh, found them. See, I even tried to clean up my area and it's still tripping me up. Becca, how happy are you to have your Lynn Lily? Oh my gosh. It feels like I'm complete again. Uh, mm. And it's so funny, guys, because I have made so many projects in the last mm, week that I needed it. Um, and I've been suffering, been suffering without her. I feel like I should redo them all. <laughs> we do none of the all projects the projects are sufficient unless used with Lily. 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 <laughs> I love it. I mean, how many times have I complained, Rachel? First of all, one reason that I complain is that the nozzle on the other ones that we use is bigger, which puts out a lot more glue. But like, it's not precise. I would no. rather have precision than quantity. Yeah, well, but I'm heavy handed with glue anyway, so then it takes forever to draw. Yeah, and and that's no fun. Yeah. Yeah. Lynn Lily is just the way to go. You got to have it. Gotta and she cute. It. And she cute. She cute. Look at her. She cute. So fun. Oh, Blakey's, Blakey's, Blakey's upstairs. upstairs. I think she's, he's cleaning for I Sin's arrival. I think he fell. San, you better order. believe this place is like, Blake, Blake's going to have it nice yeah. for you when you get here. Oh, and someone asked a question on the blooper video. It was hilarious. Tanner mentioned something about Blake, um, uh, Blake finding something in, in, in Tanner's bed. Yeah. And someone said, why in the world was Blake in Tanner's bed? It's because, <laughs> it's because Blake cleans Tanner's house uh, for a little bit extra cash. So Blake, Blake cleans the place. That that's is, that's hysterical why, though. When I saw that question, I was like, how am I supposed to answer that? What? What? I need to watch it again, guys. I, I feel like that's something that I could watch every single... I need to watch it when I go to bed at night. Just to put me in a really good mood. It's funny. Guys, it's I seriously, funny. seriously, I work with the funniest people in the world. They make me so happy. <laughs> I'm going to try and do better at writing down in a big Google Doc all of the funny moments uh -huh. from videos. So that when Joe goes to make the one for 2020, he ha he, it'll probably be like two hours long. I think they would watch it. They would watch it. I'd and guys, watch if it. you see the camera shaking, it's because Blake, he's a little heavy-footed heavy upstairs. I think he's trying to do his best, but the camera is attached to the ceiling. So if you walk it all upstairs, it'll shake on you. Guys, I just want to point out this. I've mangled this because I have these crummy scissors that we cut everything with instead of fabric scissors. So make sure you have fabric scissors when you're doing that. It does make a difference. But we made it look better. She cute. We got it. Look how fun. Look I love that. Do you guys have any questions about print and cut? Did did they do we do we feel comfortable about it? I, I feel comfortable. Do you guys <laughs> no, I know you're good with it. I feel good. I mean, you're good with it. <laughs> I love print and cut. I love it. It's like the it's so it's so versatile. Yeah, and this printable iron-on too, it's a very easy brand to work with. Some of them are a little more complicated, like the Starcraft one, that is an advanced printable yeah. uh, HTV. But this printable HTV is very user-friendly. It's a good one. So you do have to have a inkjet printer for this, right? Yes, I didn't correct. even point that out. Correct. Has to be inkjet, can't be laser. Um, wanted to point that out. Yes. They have asked some good questions okay this round um definitely ask some more guys since that i might have grabbed a screenshot of tanner wearing the felt crown yesterday you know what we need to, he just needs to model the whole thing forget fallon tanner needs to be our crown That'd model be so funny he it would be it. hilarious do it. somebody asked him to put it on he totally did it i was like sure whatever. how adorable i love it um so wrapping it up 
we're finished with this project. It was super quick, other than the fact that we had to make a couple of extra cuts, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we're wrapping this up. We're just going to uh, leave you guys with those coupon codes that we had again. Um, I didn't really push our membership much today because, guys, I'm so excited about our pro course. And I really want you guys, if you haven't looked at it, take a look at it. Uh, well, actually, Rachel, if we have a minute, we can go over and kind of scroll through some of our projects from the Pro 2 course. Sure. You want to do that? Sure. Okay, let's do it. I think we have a couple on a, on our little guy here. Okay. Just a couple. You so, hey, we you got, scroll we, us? We got enough. We got enough. Got it. Do I have my mouse or do you have my mouse? I gave you your mouse. It's right here. Thank you. Anytime. Got to have that. Oh, you know what, guys? It helps if you turn um, said mouse on. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, okay. So we have this awesome uh, introduction to sublimation course that um, Tanner did. It It's hysterical. We yesterday were like, what all can we sublimate? I, oh, we were looking for things. We we're like, we gotta sublimate something else. What can we sublimate? I think we're gonna try a bunch of stuff anyway. Like, oh, even if are. it's not like, and that way, kosher it, to do it. Yeah, yeah, and that way, if it works, then we can tell you guys about it. And if it doesn't, then we can tell you guys about it. You know, either way, it. it's a win-win. Lesson two. Oh my gosh, this super fun project. Um, we made this keychain, and then we made a super cute pair of earrings as well. But I, this is a super fun project for even kids. I love it. Um, I gave you guys some tips and tricks on how to adapt it for them. Of course, you can use Design Space and kind of just um, use any uh, print and cut, cut file that you wanted to as well. Um, also, we had our party A to Z with your Cricut. So this just gives you, we have a couple of different party themes and Maker's Gonna Learn. Uh, our unicorn is not the only one that we have. We do have some boy ones and a couple of other girl ones actually. Um, but we went through everything in this party, guys. We did a birthday banner. We did uh, water bottle wrappers. We did cupcake wrappers. We did cupcake toppers. <laughs> we did, um, you can see here, these gift bag toppers. Um, uh, I feel like we did other things. Oh, party hats. So many things to customize an awesome birthday party um, for for your kids. Super cute. It'll save you tons of money, too. And um, uh, Susan wanted to say about the sublimation. Do you have a sublimation printer? So, Susan, in that course, we teach you how to turn your printer into a sublimation yes. printer. It just has to be inkjet, but we teach you all that. We tell you everything you need to know. And guys, it's so affordable. It like is I, so affordable. I honestly, I thought it was gonna be expensive. It is so affordable. It is. And the printer that we used is actually, the only reason that we chose it in, I don't know if they go over it or not. Do you guys go over what printer it is? Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the only reason we chose it is because it did larger, um, uh, Paper, paper you can use larger paper yeah. um, so there was one that was like half the price um, that did regular eight and a half by eleven so it's super affordable for you guys to do um, we did our ultimate guide to larger than matte project it's a super cute project that Tanner did this is not the project no this is not the project this is a filler image why did we not put the project who knows interesting Anyway, it is adorable. Um, one of Tanner's friends got engaged, and so we did this awesome We Being Tanner um, project. Being Tanner. <laughs> it's a, like a gigantic canvas fabric, beautiful. Yeah, to aid in the engagement yes. proposal. So cute. Use some fonts in there. Gorgeous. Oh, yeah, fonts. For sure. And it was one of our new fonts, guys. One it of the was. fonts that was uh, released yesterday. Uh -huh. um, yearly members have access to those, for sure. Um, okay, so lesson five is how to offset images. So uh, we have this awesome layered look. This is not a print and cut, guys. This one that says together we have it all. It's not a print and cut. It's two layers. Um, and we teach you guys how to do that. So we have so many other things here. Um, my favorite project that I did was a print and cut. Um, and it was a customized embroidery hoop. It had a home on it. It was super adorable. That and, project is ridiculous. Oh, so fun. And then I did a felt flower crown that I loved. And Rachel loved her, what did you love? You loved your larger than matte blanket, right? Your milestone blanket? I loved my milestone blanket. I loved the custom wedding invitation. Oh yes, oh and my gosh, it's envelopes. beautiful. And we did like this beautiful thing inside the envelopes. We got out the foil quill. We did so much guys. And you guys really need to level up your crafting. We have two courses, Pro 1 and Pro uh -huh. 2. You guys can get the bundle or you can just get Pro 2. Now, Pro 1 is not 
like Pro 2 is not better than Pro 1. They're both pro level courses, but they are like the same types of product. Well, not the same. What am I trying to say, Vega? Like they're not harder than the other ones. Yeah, the skill level the is skill not level, different. The skill level, but yeah. they're completely different products. Like, we wanted yeah. to really broaden out the projects for you guys. And so guys, right here it says bundle Pro 1 and Pro 2 courses for even more value and say $5. That is a blooper. It's actually $50. Uh, you don't need a coupon code to do that. So if you get both of them, then you automatically just get it for three ninety four, which is a fantastic value. Um, if you want just one or the other, you can use code PRO2020 to get $20 off. Uh, but yeah, do you guys have any questions about uh, the PRO course before we head on out here and celebrate our weekend? Uh, they, what are they all need the to be asking them. What are all the things that you use for all this project? Do you I mean like this the supply lists or what? I don't know. I if he means if they mean supply lists, we have um, with these projects or with the Pro Two course, we have a resource guide um, that has every single supply that we use, guys. We link them for you even so that it is super easy to click on and purchase yourself. Um, we even like shopped around to get you the best prices too. We did. We tried to look for we did. good deals. And Megan, was there a resource guide for Pro One like there is for Pro Two? There was not. There was a, what, what's it called, like the ebook version. Yeah. But there was not the amazing resource guide that you get in the Pro 2 course. That's why Pro 2 is a little bit more expensive because it's a little bit fancy. You guys get a little bit more goodness in there. And Barbara, I don't know what you mean by can you use par parchment paper with which uh, project, my dear. Just like oh, are that. you talking about over, probably over this print and cut to instead of the Teflon? You know what, Barbara? You might be able to. I actually didn't try it. Uh, but I am willing to do that and give you my results later on. I'm oh, Tarita wants to know the supplies you use for today's project. Oh! I'll switch you back over to you okay. you can tell her. So we had um, these fun little shirts that we got from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was $5.99. I already forgot what I told you. $5.99. It was on discount. I think it's 30% off all the time. Yeah, um, which is great. So we had that little shirt. We had um, our trim, our decorative trim for the arms. And then this um, new fun. Uh, it's called transfer, dark fabric transfer paper, but that's misleading to me. I think it is too. I just call it printable iron on. It's printable that's what it iron is. on. You don't so, need to be so confused with the wording. Right. New fun printable iron on for dark fabrics. We get ours from Amazon. Um, we haven't looked. You might be able to get it other places, but it's super affordable when you buy it in larger increments, even. Um, and then I had this um, Teflon sheet too. Other than that, like hot glue. Oh, that was our supply list for the day. And Isabel, no, we did not buy the glue gun on Amazon. This is the Lynn Lily hot glue gun. You guys can just Google Lynn Lily hot glue gun and the, the link will show up for you. I don't I don't know the brand. I just know it's Lynn Lily. Sherbon. It's Sherbonder. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, Sherbonder. Yeah. There we go. Uh, it's 20 bucks. Which is a very reputable, I mean, I don't actually, I can't tell you another brand. I mean, I know there are other brands, don't get me wrong. But Sherbonder is like the number one it's a good one. gun of... Uh, Glue gun brand. Glue yeah. gun brand yeah. that comes to my head when I think about glue gun. So, yeah, yeah it's a good one. She, she's a good one. Won't it come off with washing? Yes. Yes. It, it probably, well, you know what? Um, if you're washing it in cold water, I don't. You're I don't, talking about the hot glue, correct? Yeah, yeah. I don't dry any of my clothes, like my kids' clothes. I'll dry, like, their pajamas and underwear and stuff like that. But, like, a shirt like this, I don't dry just because I like the color um, to, 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 be maintained and I'm a little OCD when it comes to things like that. No. Um, so like if I'm washing it in cold and just hanging it up, it's not going to come off. I don't Right, think. yeah. But if um, you tumble that in the dryer for a while. Oh, it know? sure will. Yeah, it'll heat back up and it'll probably come right off. That's why I gave um, this flexible stretchable fabric glue um, option. Uh, me personally, if I were making this in my craft room at home, I would sew this on. Um, but I know a lot of you guys don't like to sew. Uh, Rachel. Or can't sew. <laughs> or can't can. sew. Yeah. I can't sew. Yeah, so for for the sake of this live, that's why I hot glued it. Yeah. If I were going to use a glue, other than, if I weren't going to sew and I was going to use a glue for me at home, I would use this flexible, stretchable fabric glue. Um, good question. 
What's the price range for the? Oh, you already said that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Twenty bucks. And I just answered uh, sweet Kathy. It, we can say it verbally. It was just better to type it for her. But okay. the printer we use yeah. and love is our Canon TS eight one two zero. It's a good printer, guys, it's and it's, it's not expensive. It's, it's under hundred bucks. bucks. Mm -hmm. The ink cartridges are relatively cheap if you get them at the right spot. And they last a long time. And Have we changed ours since I've been here? No. No, I've been here since November, and we use it all the time. We use it very often. We haven't had to change it, so I feel like it uses um, minimal. Yeah, yeah, minimal yeah. ink usage. And the uh, they come in white, black, and red, so it's got like you know it covers all the bases for you yeah. there. It's a good little printer. Yeah. It's a good printer. <laughs> Is that it? I, th I don't think. Becca, that's it. I don't. I don't see anything. Perfect. All right, guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us for this fun project and hearing all about our Pro 2 course. You're probably going to hear about it for a little bit because we're just so excited about it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. If you have purchased Pro 2, get to crafting this weekend. I really, honest to goodness, want to see what you're making. Tag me on Facebook, Becca Myers Oak. She can find me on Facebook. Tag me um, in our group so that I can see what you've done. I would love to see that. Uh, have a great weekend. We will see you Monday. I think Rachel is going to be um, crafting with you guys Monday, uh, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So look forward to that. Have a great weekend. See you guys later.